As the world awaits for the COVID-19 curve to flatten, small businesses continue to feel the pandemic's impact across a variety of business factors. While COVID's effect remains challenging, small businesses are finding positive, unintended consequences in how agile they can be in transforming their business into consumer models. According to MetLife and U.S. Chamber of Commerce, one in four small businesses have shut down temporarily in response to COVID-19, including Chin's 34th Street Fishery, a seafood restaurant legend in Lyle for more than 25 years. Among those who haven't temporarily shut down yet, 40% report that they will do so within the next two weeks. The federal government intended to support small businesses through quickly distributed loan funding from the Paycheck Protection Program. Christine Jeffries, the president of Naperville Development Partnership, explains while funding was quickly exhausted, the program provided much needed support to small businesses. The PPP program has been truly a lifeline to so many of our businesses. So um, yes, it ran out of money, to me, that's a sign of how important it is and how effective it's been. So that's helping keep a lot of people employed. Restaurants adjusted rapidly to augment lost tableside service, as well as fill the need for curbing trips to the grocery store. Rick Gerber Jr., the owner and general counsel at Billy Bricks Wood Fired Pizza, spoke to us on how they are contributing to the community due to the pandemic. We launched a family meal deal, which is $40 and has a, an incredible amount of food and it's good for us and our customers seem to be really loving it and then i would say one of the other things that we've done that's really taken off here in the past few weeks is our feed the frontline effort so it's really been great um, because it allows our customers to add a donated meal or however many they want to every order so it's driving up our our average sale but it's also allowing people to contribute. Other establishments needed to alter their entire food service approach, as explained by Preston Gasper, the kitchen and general manager of Fiamme in downtown Naperville. Depending on the season, we do upwards of sixty to seventy thousand dollars in business a week. But we're doing about fifteen. Obviously, there's a decrease in sales, so we've lost about 75% of our business. We're operating on an entire new model. There are certain options that we can't sell to go, but we've been forced into a curbside carryout um, and delivery type of restaurant. So we're operating on more of a Portillo's model. We have five people running around our parking lot outside, communicating with people inside via walkie-talkie. It's, it's definitely a trying time, but it's, it's good because we're using it as a learning experience. Retailers who historically depend on face-to-face -face customer service also require a different approach in how they appeal to clientele. Dan O'Keefe, the Customer Experience Manager at Naperville Running Company, brings attention to how they've changed marketing to match their customers' needs. First off, we uh, publicly launched our e-commerce site, so all the shoes that we carry in the store, as well as any shoe from any of the brands that we carry are now available on our online site for purchase. And then on top of that, we've launched our virtual fitting platform, which is where we can take a customer through a Skype call that gives them the same expert advice and fitting experience that we would have had in store. O'Keefe says this change has been welcomed by the customers and that the company has gotten great feedback. As of this morning, we had 185 people sign up for the virtual fitting. It's been good. Most people have enjoyed it. Other stores are focusing on dynamic updates to their virtual offerings, as well as customization to promote increased sales. Caitlin Anders, a worker at Bows and Babes in downtown Naperville of eight years, explained the need to embrace an entirely new approach to reaching customers via social media. So all of our inventory right now, close to most of our inventory, is on line website. Previously, we didn't have everything on the site, but now due to the shutdown, we chose to have a lot of our merchandise, especially special orders, because that's one of our biggest um, thing that people love about Bows and Babes is that they get to personalize. So, and we update almost daily about what you know we've just posted and. 
Um, Instagram's been huge. We've used a lot of that since the shutdown too. So we've definitely changed how we market more and do it constantly. Despite the economic downturn COVID-19 caused, creativity and steadfast determination could be a difference maker in small businesses' long-term endurance. Appealing to customers' needs, as well as offering opportunities to give back to the community, help people access products while feeling good about how they're spending their money during this time. We've always been able to be resilient, uh, both in Naperville and, and I would say throughout the country. We've been able to rebound. So the question is always, a, how we handle this time that's in front of us right now, but just as importantly, how we come out of this time. This has been Caroline Katie, special to the North Star.